as hell to be here tonight. Um, I actually met Matthew through the Small Business Development Center. Keith Holtaway is also here tonight. Um, the fact that I'm standing up on this stage with a small business blows my mind. Um, a year ago and two weeks to the day, I purchased a bus off Craigslist that was originally a school bus from Charlotte, North Carolina. Then a family was living on it in Yosemite. Then it made its way to San Francisco and a band used it to tour. The band broke up. I was in the process of formulating a crazy business to be a designated driver at age 30 and take people to the microbreweries of Santa Cruz. Um, so the bus. Um, I don't have any children yet. However, owning a bus is like having a child. Um, I care for this bus more than I can describe. The renovation on this bus took seven months to complete and it's um, beautiful and to be used for the community in addition to um, taking folks like you, locals, people from out of town, people that have never tried beer, people that love beer, people that are wine or cider drinkers, people that just want to go for a ride around Santa Cruz. Um, it is a bus that truly captures sort of the essence of Santa Cruz and um, Yours truly is leading the tour. Um, one of the other speakers said that she wears a lot of hats. That's sort of how I feel right now. Um, I, this is my first business that I've owned. Before this, I was working under really talented individuals, but never thought that I'd be doing it on my own. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about owning a new business and just sort of what my experience has been. Um, after I made commitment to myself to refurbish a bus and to actually go for it. It was all about, you know, what permits do I need? Is this even going to work? I mean, I sat down with each of the brewery owners with like a five page business plan and like a jackass smile on my face being like, hi, I'm Annie. Like, I want to take people to you. Will you allow me to? Um, fortunately, they all said yes. Um, I think that I think that everyone was a little skeptical at first how it was going to work, um, but I celebrate as of yesterday my 37th tour, and I opened. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and I opened July 4th weekend, and that was, you know, <laughs> me basically turning the key and going, let's get this baby on the road, literally, um, with the bus refurbish anything and everything, as all of you know, especially the small business owners, can and will go wrong. Um, you just have to expect that that's going to happen. So there was a lot of, you know, ups and downs. And is this going to happen? And, um, and with the help of the community and friends and people saying, I will commit three hours on a Saturday to help you roll paint a bus. <laughs> and I will help you pick out, you know, new paint for the inside and uh, grease the wheels and in my mechanic and I's case do a complete head job on a huge engine in a bus two weeks before I was supposed to launch. Um, so I'm incredibly grateful. I'm blown away by everyone in Santa Cruz and um, small businesses reaching out and each person that I get to meet on my bus. Um, that's probably the most magical part of my job. Um, you know, doing the reservations, I kind of get an idea, but until I open the bus door, which is a long, uh, you know, kind of extended handle, and see the smiling faces of people who really are taking a chance on a new business, but also there to have a fantastic day with, with friends, with each other, to celebrate birthdays, reunions, whatever it may be. Um, and that is what I look forward to doing. And thank you so much for all of you for welcoming me into the community. Give me a honk when you see me on driving the bus. It's always my little head behind there. You'll see that. Thank you so much. <laughs>